didn't didn't expect that to be called a strike. One one count. And the pitch. Grant swung on and missed. Craft another terrible high graduate one year ago. And he asked for time. Something he run wasn't comfortable with when he stepped in. He and the umpire talk a little bit. And he craft nods his head, okay. One, two, the count, the pitch from Grant. It is a base hit to left field. And good piece of hitting Ryan Kraft. On a one-two pitch, he just had to fight off what he could there and get a piece of that one for a terrible second hit. Now, if he lets that one go, Kevin's probably going to be called a strike, so he just had to yeah. swing at it and take it where he could. He did a good job fighting it off uh, to get the base hit, and uh, guess what good hitters do, Milton, is uh, <laughs> you, don't, you don't always get the fastball down the middle in baseball. No. But sometimes there'll be a strike anyway, and that's probably would have been strike three had he not swung. And the batter up is Cameron High. Pitch taken for a strike one. High playing first base tonight. Big right-hander out of West Lincoln High School. And I believe if I'm not, is Cameron a rising maybe junior or? Yeah, he's young. I think yeah, he is a young. rising junior. Yeah. 0-1 oh, the count, the pitch saved by the catcher that time. Good job by Mata. Keep that one going to the screen, or Kraft would have been easily at second. It's one ball, one strike. Mata's a big guy behind the plate. How would you like to come barreling around third and meet up with him at home plate? You're probably not going to try to run over him. You're not going to move him. And uh, pitch fouled off. It's one and two on high. But we need no altercations of catchers. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not here or anywhere. But uh, Slide, slide, slide. <laughs> be, and be done with it. One and two, the count on Cameron High. Runner first, nobody out, no score. Bottom of the second. Grant steps off the plate, looks to first. Crafts the board with a single. Two hits for Cherville in the ball game. One hit for Gaffney. Bottom of the second here. Catcher sets up outside. I was expecting Kraft to take off. He's not going, and the pitch was high and inside. Two and two on Cameron High. On deck is Dustin Wilson. High looks down at third base coach Bobby Reynolds. It's his signals there, and the two-two pitch outside. It's three and two to Cameron High. And Grant's starting to get all over the place. Yeah, he is. He's uh, starting to. <laughs> kind of yeah, a, I think he has been the whole game, to tell you the truth. Yeah. He's a three-quarter sidearm pitcher almost. And, and, he, uh, and he's so compact in his delivery. And uh, he almost looks like, you know, when a pitcher gets tired, they kind of like they start trying to push it. the ball across in there. And he's looked that way from the outset. Runner going. 3-2 pitch. Ground ball to short. Only play will be to first. And they'll get high. Good thing that Kraft was off and running. That might have been a double play ball. So a fielder's, uh, or excuse me, a ground out 6-3 on high. For out number one, and Kraft moves to second base. And it's Dustin Wilson. Wilson with a chance to drive in Cherryville's first run of the ball game here. Yep. First run of the ball game, period. Period. Zero to zero. Bottom two, post 100, and Gaffney. And a pitch is a ball. Folks, uh, bear with us a while. I mean, you're, you're watching the game now. We're uh, going to get everything settled and uh, steady here in a little bit. But uh, and uh, I know my arm's getting tired here, Milton, <laughs> using it as a tripod. You about run out. Here's a fly ball to left, right at the left fielder, who almost let it uh, drop down. He, he might have had a little trouble judging that one off the bat of Wilson, but he caught it kind of at his knees. And uh, anyway, it'll be a fly out to the left for two outs, so it'll be up to Sam Travis. Yeah, y'all was going to say, y'all about run out of tank of gas back and forth to the office to get. Yeah, Milton, good turn, wires. turn uh, me down for a minute. I'm going to talk to the okay. cameraman on the phone. All right. We'll do that with runner at second. Two down now for Travis. Pitch on the inside corner. Breaking ball for a strike from Grant. Crafts at second base. A leadoff single. In the inning, 
Advanced to second on a ground out by High. Then the fly out by Wilson. And here's a fly ball to left. Left fielder also, again, right in his tracks, almost makes the catch for out number three. So, again, Cherryville will leave a runner on base. No runs, a hit, no errors, and one left. This time they'll leave the runner in scoring position. And with two innings in the book, it is 0-0 on the House Drug Mr. Sparky scoreboard. You're listening to B-Squared Construction, Post 100 Baseball. Thinking about remodeling your home? Or maybe you're even thinking about building a new home. Or maybe a new building out back. Either way, call on the building experts at B-Squared Construction. Get your project started today. From decks to roofing to kitchen and bath to siding to gutters. Also window and door replacement. With over 40 years of combined experience, B-Squared Construction. Call Brad Beatonhead at 704-201-4453 or Banjo Strap at 704-713-8296 to get your project started today. There you go, Ann. Your new account is now open. Just one more little thing. Here's your card. What was that? It's my new bank. Every time I turn around, I get hit with another fee. You need to get an account at Carolina Federal Credit Union. She's right. Tired of getting hit by bank fees? Switch to Carolina Federal Credit Union today. Make those pains go away. Here's your receipt. Today are a proud member of that community, providing services with dignity and respect. Caring for your family like our own. That's their slogan. Come talk with manager Pete Kraft about the services they provide at the Sammy Cherryville Funeral Home, 405 North Dixie Street in Cherryville. And we're back at Fraley Field in Cherryville. Milton Baker, Kevin Hastings with you. Josh Serene, the batter up. Then Hunter Heiss. Then the top of the order, Caleb Earls. And we have a pop fly foul territory toward the batting cage or... It was out of play anyway, and it'll be a strike on Serene. How serene of him. Hmm. Had to do it, folks. <laughs> I had to. I'll uh, have the name game going sometimes here. Serene wears number eight. He's a third baseman, right-handed batter for Gaffney. Post 109. They're 4-2. and two. Terrible 4-0. and oh. And the 0-1 pitch from Dylan Hastings. Uh, beauty right in there. It's 0-2 on Serene. And another foul ball. Oh and 2 the count to Serene. O2 pitch swung on and missed. And it is a strikeout, that is the fifth strikeout for Dylan Hastings, who is just as good tonight, if not better, than he was at Burke County in the season opener. Hunter Heiss. Heiss, right-handed batter, second baseman. Pitch swung on. He tried to hold up, but he went around. Strike one on Heiss. I was going to say last inning, I was talking about the umpires, Kevin Bumgarner there behind the play. He is the father of a San Francisco giant pitcher, Madison Bumgarner. Mm -hmm. And uh, Madison even had a, um, a big story on, uh, he was one of the top uh, trending news. There's a fly ball to right field, caught by the right fielder. Yeah, that'll be Wilson out there making the put out on the 1-1 one -one pitch. Go ahead. Madison uh, had a big story and write-up about the town they're from uh, called Bumtown, <laughs> is what they call it. <laughs> Because there's so many bum gardeners, and yeah. uh, it just it, it was one of the top stories on Yahoo, and I thought that was uh, very interesting. And I've umpired with Mr. Bumgarner; he's a very good umpire. Yes, he is. Two up, two down, and we're to the top of the order. Caleb Earls, who flied out to right his first time up, and pitch taken for a strike. O and one. No one pitch from Hastings is pretty close. One and one. Caleb Earls. 
Earls left fielder, right-handed batter. And the pitch, foul tip, strike two. One ball, two strikes, two out. Top of the third, 0-0 zero, zero score. And the pitch. Ground ball, third base side, hits the bag and goes into left field right behind the bag for a base hit for Caleb Earls. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> Troy, that's pretty good. He's a double base hit. He got a base hit, and he hit the base. Oh, me. I got a triple today. You ever, you ever seen those dart boards with the old baseball game on them? I've got an old one I picked up somewhere, and I played. I threw the darts at it, and I got a triple today. <laughs> oh, 